So you just got a brand new 4K monitor, you plug it in, you boot up your Cali Linux VM, and boom, the resolution and the sizing of the icons and the text is just super tiny. And no matter what you do, you go to the display settings, you can't seem to fix the issue the way it needs to be solved. Well, boy, do I got the solution for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your 4K sizing issues in Kali Linux once and for all. All right, so here I have the latest version of Kali Linux. I just booted it up. I haven't even logged into the machine yet, so let's go ahead and log in right now. And as you can see, everything is super tiny. The reason for this is because I'm running a 4K monitor. It took me a long time to figure it out, and after I figured it out, I wrote a script for it, and now I want to share this information with you. Let's go ahead and show you the terminal. You have full screen. Very tiny. We do an LS here. Do an ID. Who am I? Everything's super tiny. You can't even see what's going on right now. So how do we fix this? I wrote a script, and I'll show you what the script is. So open up a web browser, and what you want to do is you want to go to github.com slash kaiserclark. And there's my GitHub. Let's go and go full screen. Everything's super tiny because of the issue, which is what we're trying to solve. And I know this is hard to see, but bear with me. I'm going to run through this again after it gets fixed. I have to show you that it's small to show you that this does work. But once we fix it, I'll do it again. That way you guys can see it a little bit better. Go to repositories, go to hacking notes. And then what you want to do is you want to go to scripts. And you want to go to fix 4K. I will put the link in the description for the script, by the way. But you can click copy raw file. Once you click copy raw file, we can minimize this. And now what we want to do is we just want to do a nano or a V or a Vim or a mouse pad, whatever you want to use. And then call the file whatever you want. I like to call the file fix4k.sh. And then I paste the script in here, control X, Y, enter to save. And then what we want to do is make it executable. So smod plus X, fix 4k.sh. And then now we want to run the script. So dot slash fix 4k.sh. And you see our taskbar items got larger, but our terminal is still tiny. It's asking us for a pseudo password here. So we just run this pseudo password there and then once we're in the script if we click close the terminal reopen the terminal terminal is still tiny but that's not a problem so all you have to do to fix that you have to log out you have to log out for all the changes that take effect once you log back in you can see the icons are larger taskbar items are larger and if we open up the terminal we have a normal size terminal now, this is what I would consider a normal size, but for videos, I usually run about this size for demonstration purposes. So now that we are larger, I want to show you that everything again, all the steps again, because I know it was very hard to see. So once again, you want to go to Firefox or whatever web browser you want, and you want to go to my GitHub. So we'll go back to my GitHub here. This is my main page github.com slash kaiser clerk click on repositories click on hacking notes and then you want to scroll down the scripts once again i will put the link of this script in the description click copy all file go back to our terminal we're going to run a mouse pad and we'll just call this 4k.sh we're going to give it a different file name like I said, it doesn't matter what you call it. And then we'll paste the script in here. We will save. X. And then what you're going to do is make it executable. Smod plus X. 4K.sh. And then to run it, dot slash. And then whatever you call the file. That's the last file name. We want to do 4K. So that's the new one. Run it. It's going to ask you for a pseudo password. If you just install Kali, it's going to be Kali. C-A-L-I. And boom, done. Now, you have to run this script for every user that you want to run it on. So if you have multiple users, you have to do this for each user. So let me show you an example of that. 
If my scrub helps you fix your 4K sizing issue, then do me a favor, hit the like button, and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. Okay, so to enable the root login, which is technically considered insecure and against best practices, but I like to run as a root user because it reduces the amount of problems I have because I often forget to write sudo in front of my commands and I bash my head against the wall because my command's not working because I didn't put sudo in front of it. And if I run as a root user, I don't have to put sudo in front of it. And like I said, technically insecure, but I run through so many VMs and I don't store a whole lot of sense of information. Actually, I don't store any sense of information on my Kali VMs. So I just run everything as a root user. So to, to enable the root user, we just want to do a mouse pad slash Etsy shadow. And we actually need to put sudo in front of that. That proves the point that I always forget to put sudo in front of things. Do our sudo password. And what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down. We'll uh, make this wider so you can see the whole thing here. And right here is a Kali user. We just want to grab the Kali hash. So that's from the first colon to the next colon, starting with this dollar sign. So right click, copy, scroll up to root. You get rid of this asterisk and just paste the Kali hash there. Now I recommend changing your password before you do this. And if you change your password with the Kali user and you do this, then the root user will also have the same password. Alternatively, you can log into the root user and then change your password after you log into the root user. I'm not gonna tell you how to set your password more than that. It is best practice to change your root password. So hit save on this. And simply doing that enables the root login. So if we could log out here and now we can log in as root. Password is Kali. Like I said, it's a copy of the Kali user. And once again, we have this small icon, small taskbar, small terminal, everything. The only difference here is where the root user, and like I said, we just have to run everything again for every user. So I'm gonna zoom in on here. So we can do a change directory slash home slash Kali. And if we do ls, we can see we have both those 4K scripts here. So we just need to run one of them. So dot slash and then fix 4K. And that makes our icons up here bigger. If we click the X up here, our icons on the desktop are bigger. Once again, terminal still tiny, but we fix that by logging out and then logging back in. Click the terminal. And boom, normal size. This is what I would consider normal size. Like I said, my video demonstrations usually look something like this, but I personally like it at this size because I can see a ton more information when I'm doing things off recording. I created this video to solve a very specific problem. And because of that, I know a lot of you clicking on this video are probably new here. So if you're new here, allow me to quickly introduce myself Hello, my name is Kaiser Clark. I have been a cybersecurity professional for over seven years now, and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker, and I'm here to help you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. And if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and give my channel a shot. I have over 600 videos now at this point, filled with tons of hacking and cybersecurity information that helps you not only level up your skills, but also build a career in cybersecurity. And this video right here is the video that YouTube is recommending you. Yes, you specifically based off of the algorithm and what it knows about you, which is a lot, by the way. And go ahead and click this video, give it a shot, and I'll see you there.